So earlier today, I had this back and forth with a commenter on one of my videos. Now, this commenter specifically is talking about a Djokovic versus Sinner forehand comparison video, and I will pin it on the screen at the end of this video if you want to check it out. But his first comment to me was, you are crazy to think that Djokovic and Sinner are using semi-westerns. My response back, well, what grip are they using then? He responded back, Djokovic, something west of semi-western to just short of full western. Sinner, slightly west of full western, almost Hawaiian. Of course, the only way to precisely know is to ask them to not disarm their grips and inspect their grips after a set of forehands. I wouldn't bet my house on it, but I would be very surprised if any of them fall any eastern of my estimates above, to which I just thanked him for his thoughts. Now, in a moment, I'm going to show you video footage proving that both Djokovic and Sinner use semi-Western forehand grips. But in order to prove that to you, you got to know what a semi-Western grip actually is and how to see it on video. In order to understand grips, you have to know two things. You got to know about the hand and the racket itself. Let's start with the hand. There are two spots on the hand you want to keep track of. The base knuckle of the index finger and the heel pad. These two spots have to go somewhere very specific on each stroke in tennis, the serve, the backhand, the overhead. It doesn't matter. There's a specific place to put those two spots in order for the racket or the grip to be a specific grip used. Let's talk about the racket. Notice that the racket is on its edge, meaning that the strings are facing left and right. In order to count the panels correctly, you must have the racket's orientation in this manner. The top panel, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, doesn't matter, is always panel number one. Remember, in order to have panel number one be correct, the strings have to be facing left and right when looking at the butt of the racket. Right-handers count clockwise. Lefties from the top count counterclockwise. Since Djokovic and Sinner are both right-handed, we're going to count clockwise. That means the top panel is panel one, obviously. This is panel two, three, four, five six, seven, and eight. All we are looking at is an octagon. If you get your, your calculator out and you divide 360 divided by eight, you will see that it is 45. So the difference between each panel is 45 degrees. Now, let's talk about an Eastern forehand grip. Very classic grip, great for power. You can still put a lot of spin on the ball, but it's really great because it gets your palm to face the exact same direction as your strings. So it's really easy to keep track of where your strings are facing. An eastern forehand grip is where you place the base knuckle of your index finger and your heel pad on panel number three. Remember, one, two, three. When it comes to a semi-western grip, you're going to use panel four. So right-handers, knuckle and heel pad, panel number four. When it comes to a full western Panel five, the very bottom. So, full western, knuckle and heel pad, right on five. Now, before I show you the Hawaiian grip, it's very important to note that panels one and five are in line with the frame of the racket. Notice that the frame of the racket right here, as I try to draw with... Not a great drawing tool, but you can see that panels one and five are in line with the grommets and the side and the side of the frame of the racket. So in order to know where panel five is or panel one is, all you have to do is look at the edge of the racket. And if all you see is the frame of the racket and you see no strings, then what you're actually looking at is panel one or panel five. That's going to be very important information to use in order to figure out the grips that Djokovic and Sinner are using. Now, before we go, I got to discuss what a Hawaiian grip is. A Hawaiian grip uses panel number six. Remember, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes, the knuckle and the heel pad would be on panel number six. That is a Hawaiian grip. Uh, definitely not something I would recommend that players use. Boy, is that going to keep you from reaching your highest level of play. Uh, very limiting. Uh, you basically cannot hit a low ball to save your life. Uh, and yes, at contact, the back of your hand actually faces your opponent. Now, first, let's take a look at Sinner 
And this video is courtesy of Court Level Tennis on YouTube. So thank you, Liam. Uh, make sure you subscribe to his awesome channel. All right, let's look at these grips or this grip that he's using right here. So this is just a normal forehand that he's just ripping in a practice session. Doesn't matter which one we pick, but this one's really easy to see because we can put the racket on its edge. Remember I showed you that when the racket is on its edge, we know that we're looking at panel number five. When the racket is on its edge, the part of the grip that we're looking at is panel five. And what grip is panel five? The uh, full Western forehand. So if we put that line on his grip and then we zoom in, we can see both his index and middle finger base knuckle. If we look at this going back and forth, we can find his index knuckle very easily. And when we look at the grip, compared to his hand, compared to the strings, we can keep track of where panel five is. And we can see like right here, his knuckle is on panel number four. The fifth panel is over here. Remember, it's in line with the throat of the racket. His index knuckle is nowhere near a full Western grip, let alone a Hawaiian grip. A Hawaiian grip would mean that if we draw a line, again, along the grip, instead of seeing his index knuckle over here, which we easily see, which means he's not on a full Western, we would see his knuckle over there. His knuck, his racket, his, I'm sorry, his hand would be wrapped all the way around the grip in order to get on panel number six. Does he use an Eastern forehand? Of course not. Is he using a semi-Western? Yes. So this idea that the only way we would know is if we're standing next to them and we could look at their grip without them disarming it, totally false. We can see very clearly that Yannick Sinner uses a semi-Western grip. Now, this video of Djokovic is courtesy of Essential Tennis on YouTube. Thank you, Ian, for letting me use this video. If you have not subscribed to Ian's awesome channel, you can do so with the link in the description below. All we have to do is take the racket to where it's on edge. When the racket is on edge, it shows, it shows us the full Western. So you just draw a line along the racket, and we know that his knuckle is not covered up by the line. A full Western, the line would go straight through the index knuckle. This is how you can look on video and know what grip someone is using. You can use, if needed, the edge of the frame and if the knuckle the index knuckle which right now his pinky knuckle the base knuckle of his pinky is a full western but we don't use that mark to find a, a grip we use the base knuckle of the index finger and the heel pad neither sinner nor Djokovic uses a full western let alone close to a hawaiian now, if you're looking for new people in your local area to play matches against to practice with, maybe you want to find a local league at your level, or you'd like to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court, and it's playyourcourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Here's that video I was talking about, Djokovic versus Sinner forehand comparison. Definitely check it out. If you can start looking around and understanding what grips you're looking at just by the hand position, understanding its relationship to the handle, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.